Followers from President Yoram Seveni's legal team took turns today to punch holes into the petition which had been submitted by Mbabazi's legal team. Throughout their defense, the lawyers largely predicated the rebuttal on suggestions that Mbabazi's side lacks cogent evidence to prove that the election was not free and fair. The petitioner alleges that the first and second respondents ordered the social media blockade. That remains a bare allegation. We did not supply any evidence. We pray that this petition, which is completely without merit, unsupported by any evidence, based purely on hope, <laughs> conducted by way of a fishing expedition, does not meet the standard required to set aside the election of the people of Uganda, of their president. In one of the grounds of Mbabazi's petition, his lawyers argued that the delay in submitting voting material was deliberate and intended to differentiate voters. This was one of the accusations flatly denied. There must be evidence that people failed to vote. Somebody should have come and said, I could not vote, even after time was extended. My Lord, we don't have a single, a single one piece of evidence, single person saying that they failed to vote. Mbabazi's legal team, which completed its submissions on the merits of the case yesterday, also claimed that the Badr Chigundu led commission announced its own results rather than the declaration of results forms. Mbabazi's team had opined that scanned copies could not be relied upon to declare results as it is not provided for under the law. Chirio Wachonka implored court to invoke the Electronic Data Act. Again, the candidates or their agents are allowed to be there and participate in this process. And that is to enhance the transparency in the process. My Lord, at that point, if an agent who came from a polling station finds that the returning officer is announcing a different result from that which he had at the polling station, he can challenge that. For most of his submissions, Chiwanuka's defense was skewed towards the Electoral Commission than he did for his client Museveni, an issue which was contested by Mbabazi's lawyer, Severino Twinobusinje. Chiwanuka took flak from the justices for what they said was overstepping his mandate. Uh, counsel Chiyawa introduced himself as counsel for the first respondent. But it's now clear he's very counsel for the second respondent. So perhaps he would need to inform court at that point the first respondent he, to cover the responsibility of the second respondent. reference to evidence which is before the court. Yes, my lord, but uh, he's putting the case for the second respondent, and we wonder whether the first respondent actually took over the roles of the but second the respondent. That, that is where our concern is, that when this thing happened, when this challenge happened, it is now associated to the first respondent. Hence, they need to go out and explain that they had no, that the first respondent had no hand in it. Or benefited in it. Didas Nkuruziza, who is the lead lawyer, addressed courts on four issues. The pledge by the president to hand out 18 million horse to locals when he was campaigning in West Nile, and the issuance of 250,000 shillings to each village across the country, which the petitioner claims was a bribe. In an ongoing government program, holes were being distributed over three financial years. Lord, it is important to, uh, to, to keep in mind that the president remains the president at all times between his election and his expiry of his term of office. So even though he may have been a candidate, he still remained the president of Uganda and those functions which he carries out are not suspended for that period of time. He also defended the president against accusations of using foul language to intimidate the electorate. However, Nkuruziza said the statement was made at a time when he was not campaigning. It is clear that these words were not derogatory. He did not make reference to the petitioner or to the petitioner's supporters. He 
Don't refer to those people who are breaking the law. And my lords, I would submit that if the petitioner thinks that the words refer to him or to his supporters, then it can only be that he finds himself and his supporters fitting within that description. We oppose this petition for being without merit. And we shall submit that it ought to be dismissed. Today's rebuttal from President Chiram Seveni's team has largely been premised on the fact that the petition lacks facts and evidence and was, according to them, based on hope. Babas's team will on Friday file a rejoinder to try and redeem themselves. Tomorrow, court will listen to the Electoral Commission on claims that they were non compliant with the law during the electoral period. Shilan Wuchre, NTV, at the Supreme Court here in Kampala.